What's up guys, got a haul today, got a lot of stuff to show you guys, so this video may take a while, so you guys sit back and relax. Alright, let's get into it. Alright guys, I got a lot of cool stuff, so let's start off with this. This is really cool. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before, but this is a... I, I got some a comic book acetate. It's, it's a Warlord acetate. Basically these are what they use in comic book production. So, I don't know how I'm going to display these yet, but with these acetates you put them together and they make the picture of the comic book. So you see that there? These are used in comic book production. How cool that is. I don't know how I'm gonna, like I said, I don't know how I'm gonna display these, but they're really freaking cool. So the guy, um, I bought them from a guy on eBay and I guess he didn't see them for after about two weeks or maybe like a week, and then he sent me back a text saying he won't be able to send it for two weeks, but he said he would hook me up. So he sent me that first set, is the one I, I think that's not the one I bought, those are the ones that he threw in with it. But then, this is the set I bought from him. It's from Warlord number, um, number 11. See that, pretty cool. And so, these are the ones I bought from. Look at all that. That's freaking cool. So it's Warlord number 11 right there. And I still want to get the book. I don't have the book yet, but I'm going to get it. But he sent me the other set for free. And then this is the one I bought from him. And also because he took so long, he sent me these Heroes Convention uh, posters. He sent me two of them. That was really cool. Alright, moving on. I have a comic, comic Mint box unboxing. So this is from the Comic Mint. Um, he usually has pretty cool pictures that they print onto the Comic Mint box. I haven't opened this yet. I don't know what's in it. Um, he only has these for the Comic Book Mint Insiders, which is his Facebook page that he only sells these on. I talked to him this morning, and he said he's going to try and see if he gets something together for um, the regular site to sell these on there they just won't be as much of a discount as on the insider site but let's see what what comes in these boxes they're, they're actually pretty cool how cool that is I think that's from Pestilence the comic book that came out a while ago and this is a comic book mint, comic mint uh, exclusive cover that they had for themselves like I said I talked to Steven this morning and he said that he was going to try and see if get some together so if you guys are interested in these boxes just let me know I'm going to post a link to the Comic Mint site, so that way you guys can, can go on there. But this is how it's packed. It, um, they have it in a priority mail envelope. They got bubble wrap. The Comic Mint box is uh, 35 bucks for the box. It shipped pretty well. Got a backing board in there. And then it has them in one of these priority envelopes. Like I said, they it is it is packed very well. So let me open this up. Bear with me for a minute, guys. Sorry if I'm kind of quiet this morning, but the family's upstairs sleeping at spring break right now where we're at. And my kids are off, the wife is off. So I'm trying to be a little quiet here. Alright, let's see here. First book that is in there is Infinity Countdown Prime number one, the variant edition. Pretty cool. Next one is Poison Spider Man Marvel Legacy cover. I think that's the uh, trading card cover. Next one is Wonder Woman 40, Janet Friesen cover. Beautiful cover. Next one is Amazing Spider-Man 794. Next is 
Mirror Queen of Atlantis. That's a beautiful cover. Very, very beautiful cover. Love that cover. Next one is Dark Knights Rising the Wild Hunt. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Next is, I uh, really love this cover. I actually bought a five pack for the comic bin of this cover. But it's a Supergirl 18 art germ cover. Next one up is Phoenix Resurrection. Number five, the variant cover. I'm not sure who the artist is, but pretty cool book. Next up is X-Men Red number one variant, Jean Grey variant. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And the last but not least, Dark Knights, Batman Who Laughs number one. This is the sketch variant. Really cool book. Nice. I like it. I like it. So all those books that you just saw right now came from the confident box. So like I said, if you guys are interested, um, hopefully he'll get something together for his regular site. And that way you guys have purchased those if you guys are interested. And the next box coming out is a really, really cool box, the next one. So um, I would definitely get in on those if, if you guys can. All right, next up is um, I reached out to Master X. Um, I will have a link to him in the description area. Um, I reached out to him, and I wanted to buy a few books from him. And so, like, he told me how much it was going to cost to ship and everything else. And uh, basically, he sent me these books, and I feel like that he didn't charge me enough. But I really wanted these um, Beavis and Butthead number one um, error variants. The error variant, um, if, if you look at the regular variant, um, or regular cover, the whole glove is pink. The whole thing is pink. But on this error one, it has red on there. It was a printing error. So I had bought four of these from him. And I told him that I wanted the uh, Success She Hulk number 40, the jump rope issue. And he sent me this. And he literally sent it to me for, man, to me it felt like it, it barely covered shipping. But he sent that to me, and then he gave me this as an act of kindness, Rich. Oh, man, i got to pay you back for this. This is awesome. So this is one of my favorite covers, Mighty Thor 337. First appearance of Beta Ray Bill. I have a... Um, um, new stand of this in 9.8 and I have another direct edition with a time uh, with a date stamp up here somewhere and then now he sent me another one man this is freaking awesome one of my favorite covers love this cover and then when he was just showing a recent video lately I had seen this uh, book on his video and when he was showing it I was like oh man I like Lady Death and I need to get me a get me a copy of that and but he sent me one anyway so this is a Lady Death I don't know what number this is but it has velvet around it, which is really cool. I don't know if you guys see the velvet, but it's velvet around her. And like I said, when, when I saw his video, I was like, oh, man, I, I want to find one of those. And he sent me one for free. Man, if you guys ever need anything, hit, hit Master X up. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. Like I said, you guys hit him up. Real, real awesome guy. And Master X, I owe you for those. I really appreciate it. All right, moving on. I got this off of eBay. I got it for like four bucks. It's Doomsday Clock number one, the sketch variant. There's a bunch of first appearances. I don't know who is who, what, what is what, but I just picked it up. It was cheap. It was like three or four bucks. Next up, I got I got these from the Comic Mint. Um, like I said, he always has specials. So this is a Comic Mint variant edition. It's Venom 162, I think. Yeah, Venom 162. And so I end up getting. Four copies of the trade dress, and then there's one variant, I think, for like 20 some bucks, which is pretty dang cheap. Next up here is I got a Superman number 10. This is the first appearance of the Super Sons together, and it is a new stand edition. This is, I think, my third copy. I got this for 20 bucks. I got this here from a guy off of Facebook. I got it for 20 bucks also. This is the first appearance of Polywog. I've been saving up on these. Somebody mentioned some spec a while ago. I think it might have been CBSI where they mentioned the spec. And I've been finding these for great prices and picking them up. They have Greenlight Core Movie. That's a great one to pick up. Alright, next up. <coughs> 
Oh, excuse me, guys. All right, next up I got here is um, I went to a antique shop with my brother, picked up some books. They're not in the best condition. Um, I think I might have over paid a few of these but I, I put these older books in auctions when I do Facebook auctions to kind of bring people in so first one I got is uh, Captain Marvel number 27 not the best condition like I said next one is Undersea Agent number one it was a number one it was an old book couldn't pass it up has a spine split with the because uh, this is a um, I forgot what these type of comics are called. Jeez, it slipped my mind. Square bound. Duh. It's a square bound issue, but it's split right there down the spine. I also got a Defenders number six. This one's relatively good condition. All these books I got to press still. I haven't pressed them yet, but I'll get to it. This is Batman number 286. Thor 206. First appearance of um, Absorbing Man. Right there. Absorbing Man. Got a Gru number one, new stand. GI Combat number 134. Pretty cool book. Firestorm Nuclear Man number three. First appearance of Felicity Smoke. And then I got the Firestorm number one. So I got those all from Antique Store. Like I said, not the best prices. I might have overpaid a little bit, but I don't care. I picked them up anyway. All right. Next up is I I uh, reached out to a guy on what was OfferUp, and he said he had a bunch of comics to sell. They're selling for a buck, so I went to his house and picked up some. Got this one, Zorro number one. And I love what if comic books, so if you guys find any good what ifs, let me know. Hit me up. I got what if Fantastic Four had not gained their superpowers, and I'm getting two of those. And what if the Fantastic Four all had the same power? Got one of those. What if the Punisher's family hadn't been killed? These are all in relatively great condition. I mean, they're all in near mint. Very fine plus to near mint. So, I definitely wasn't passing those up for a dollar. This is a uh, Dark Horse Presents number 67. I don't know if there's any significance. I just thought it was a cool flash homage, so I picked it up. Big Al fan, so I found Mar um, Marvel Super Size Annual Number One, Alf Number One. Picked that up. Also got Elvira's House of Mystery. Um, not sure what number. This is number nine. And not sure what number this is, but here's another one. Now this book right here is a cheap book. Um, it is a uh, Ghost Rider 15. This is the second print. I've been looking for a good second print for the longest time in a 9.8, and he literally had like 20 of these. I went through all 20 of them just to see which one's the best one, and I think this one has a great chance of getting a 9.8 on it. I'm gonna press it beforehand just to make sure, but I think this one has a great, great, great potential of 9.8. I, I can only find 9.6s of these, and but this one I think has a sure shot 9.8. And also got a full killer number one newsstand from him. New Avengers Director's Cut number one. Predator number one. And it came with number two. Crawl number one. One of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. Awesome, awesome movie. Next up is House number two. Also another great movie that I used to love when I grow up as a kid. If you've never seen this movie, it's a pretty good uh, kind of not really scary horror movie, but it's a horror movie. But it's a great movie. You gotta watch it. Got this Damage Control number one. Got this X Men two eighty one. This is the second print. This is the one with uh, with a red on the X Men. I think the First print has white on it. And I also got a I'm getting X-Men 288 that came with that. Next up I got is a Man of Steel number one. Pick that up, won't pass up a number one for a buck. Marvel Action Universe number one. 
Amazing Spider-Man 329. Great condition. This is a near mint plus condition. That's for my Spider Amazing Spider-Man run. G.I. Joe Order, Order of Battle number one is the last one I got from Got that for a buck. Alright, next up guys, I got this off of eBay. This is a Spider-Gwen um, number one. This is a Mark Brooks cover, signed by Mark Brooks. The COA Dynamic Forces. Got this for like 15 bucks off of eBay. Mark Brooks was one of my favorite artists. These I've been picking up for a long time. They're very, very hard to find in, in uh, very high grade. I mean, even in, in like a high nine, they're hard to find in a high nine. But this is Star Wars Heir to the Empire. Um, I learned about this off of CBSI a long, long time ago. Um, and I've been collecting newsstands of this. And like I said, newsstands are very, very hard to find in uh, good condition. But this is the first appearance of Thrawn right there. So I heard he might be a big character too, and I've been picking these up for a while. I think it was CBSI or somewhere else, but I know l lately they had it on CBSI, but I think I might have heard about it from another site. But yeah, this first appearance of Thrawn. If you can find this in newsstand and high grade, pick them up. Got this off of eBay for 20 bucks. This is a, another um, Dooms, uh, Superman, Man of Steel, first appearance of Doomsday. This is the fourth print, the, the DC Universe print. I got this for 20 bucks. The first one I got like this, well, I got for 11 bucks and got this one for 20 And if I see these, if I get them cheap, I'll definitely pick them up. If they ever do a good Doomsday movie, this, this book is going to be one once again. Alright, next up is I got a few books from... The, it's a comic book shop called, uh, I think, The Toy Box. And the, the Toy Box, the prices aren't bad. Um, they don't have any discounts over there. Um, but he did um, throw in a couple books for me. And he gave me these pretty much for cover price. But it wasn't too bad. I mean, like I said, they don't overprice their books too much. I mean, some are a little overpriced, but I'm pretty sure you can negotiate it if you get enough of them. But the first one I got from them was Man Thing number one. I've always wanted this cover. Thought it was a cool cover. This is a direct edition. Man Thing number one. This one is actually very high grade. It needs a press, but it's at least a 9294 right now. But beautiful looking book. <clears throat> this one's on high grade also. It's probably about a 9 to a 92. This is Captain Carrot and his amazing crew number one. Picked this up for five. Thought it was a cool cover. I always wanted this cover since since I was younger. Saw it a long time ago. Just never picked it up. And then to add to my Masters of the Universe run, I got Masters of the Universe miniseries number one. Alright, next I got this off of eBay. Um, I bought this off of eBay for a decent price. I've always wanted a Platinum one. I still want a 9.8, but I got a Spider-Man number one Platinum. Um, like I said, one day I will get a 9.8, but 9.8s right now are selling for about 1900 bucks. Wish I would have bought it before, before the explosion of the whole Spider-Man thing, um, because they were selling for maybe about 700-800 bucks, but now they're selling for about 1900 to 1800 So, or that's what people want for them. But I got this for a very, very great price. It's probably like an eight and a half to a nine, which isn't bad, but I wish it was a little bit higher. And then he threw this in with it. Alright, next, moving on, some more eBay purchases and uh, some other things. This, I think I got for eBay for like 10 bucks. This is um, Carter's USA number one, second print. Pretty hard to find. It's in a very fine plus condition. Needs a press, but still a decent looking book. These I got from Sad Lemon Comics. Um, on the Unknown Comics site, they had like about um, four or five of these in a 9.9 .9 that they got back from CGC. But it's a Del Auto X23 number one, the Virgin. Um, I'm not sure how much these are selling, but I just picked up two anyway. So, it'd be awesome if I got a 9.9 .9 on one of them. I'd definitely keep that. But one I can tell you right now will definitely be 9.8. I can see the flaws in it, so... I'm pretty sure Unknown Comic Books picked out theirs and picked all theirs out before they sent those ones out, but they had like five 9.9s. All right, this next book is um, shout out to Trey um, from CBSI. He's the one that made, first made me aware of this. 
but it's Spider Gwen number 26, um, the second print. Pretty cool cover. So shout out to Trey. Thanks, Trey. I appreciate the info on this. Uh, this is, I got off eBay. I got it for like 30 bucks, I think, which is a great price. Um, this is uh, Mighty Avengers number three, the Eminem variant. I used to be a huge Eminem fan. I won't get into why I'm not an Eminem fan anymore, but I'll definitely pick these up. Um, this is like my second or third copy of this, but I got it for a great price, like 30 bucks, so I couldn't pass it up. This one's actually in a 9.8 status, so I might get this one graded. So again, the Comic Mint, um, the Comic Mint, I can't give a shout out enough to them, but they sell five packs of certain books, and Stephen Finkel tries to get you whatever five packs you want, and so I bought five of these, because I really, really love this cover. Like I said, one of them came in the Comic, comic Mint box, but beautiful, beautiful cover. I had to buy a five pack. He gives you a huge discount on these five packs, so if you guys ever become a member of the Comic Mint, um, definitely take advantage of those five packs. Alright, moving on. These next few books I got from uh, another comic shop called the, uh, what the heck, it, uh, Apache Comics. That's So, I got these books for pretty much cover price, but I talked to him see if he had any discounts on anything. He said that he would give me a 10% discount, and so these are the books I got from him. I got this um, Amazing Spider-Man number 210. This is the first appearance of Madam Web. I got this for 20 bucks, minus 10%. I've always wanted this cover, I've never had it. I've always wanted a 9.8. This one's like a 9.4 right now. Maybe it could press out 298. It'd be nice if it could. But I've always wanted these in a 9.8. I've always just wanted this book in general. And if you watch the Amazing Spider-Man um, cartoon run that was back in the, I think, 90s, um, the voice of Madam Webb was actually Stanley's wife. So if you guys didn't know that, you heard it here first. What happened to you, Mary Jane? I can't go on without knowing. Not as Spider-Man, not as anyone. Oh, how long you are, Spider-Man. As usual. No, not you again. I still have something very important for you to do. Have you forgotten that I have been preparing you this long while for the most important battle of your life? I remember all of my encounters with you, Madam Webb. I want nothing to do with you. I'm just kidding. I'm uh, pretty sure somebody said it somewhere, but yeah, it was actually Stan Lee's wife that voiced the voice of Madam Webb on the cartoon. So go back and watch and check out the credits. It, it'll have her name. I uh, got this um, for four bucks, which is Final Crisis. I had another copy of this, but the corner was bent heavily, which was not really pressable. I mean, you could press it out, but it, would, it had a bad corner crunch. So I got another Final Crisis, number three, three of seven. So I picked up another one. I also picked up this, uh, Just Society number one. I think that's the first appearance of Jesse Quick. Picked up that. I picked up two of these, shout out CBSI um, for this spec on this. Forgot who it was exactly who gave it, but this is Guardians of the Galaxy, the first um, cosmic ghost rider. <coughs> um, well, first portrayal of the cosmic ghost rider. So picked up two of those from there. Always love this cover. This is Wolverine number 88. It's Deadpool and Wolverine. Always love this cover. This is like my third or fourth copy. But I have a new stand somewhere else. But love that cover. This right here is um, X Men number 15, first appearance of Onslaught. Shout out to Doom, who's been um, shouting these out lately. Um, I've been on an Onslaught kick for a while, um, but I just started picking these up just in case. This I got also, like I said, I will pick these up. Got this for five bucks. This is the cheapest one I've gotten, first appearance of Polywog. So I'll pick that up for five. And then picked up this one. This is a uh, Fear of Firestorm number 23. I think first appearance of Killer Frost. But new stand, picked that up. Really great condition. And then this I picked up from eBay. This is Superman Action Comics number 684. This one right here is 
a really, really hard book to find. I mean, the other covers, like you can even find a third print easier than you can find a second print. This is the only, only time I found the second print. I've got two of these. The first one I got is really messed up. Um, a lot of people don't know that these second prints even exist, but this one is really, really hard to find. <laughs> Alright, next up is I got a Homies um, Blank Edition. <laughs> these are hard to find too, man. If you guys want to find blanks that are hard to find, these. These ones are hard to find. I got another Supergirl, 50, uh, Supergirl 28. This is a Middleton cover. Really beautiful cover. I think this is my third or fourth copy of that. These ones I thought were pretty cool. They have these AAA baseball heroes um, for the superheroes. So these are pretty hard to find too. And I, I really can't really find these anymore. And, and they're either that or they're beat up and people don't know how to ship them. But I got that one. And then this one's for the Bisons. This one was for... I don't even know who that one was for. But this, this one was made for the Bisons. Alright. Next up, I got this off of eBay for like 30 bucks. Um, these ones kind of commanding a good price for it too. This is the Deadpool um, Hastings variant number one. It's the uh, Trump variant, and these are kind of getting kind of pricey too. Got this from Facebook. This is my second copy. This is uh, Incredible Hulk number 441. This is the newsstand variant. These ones are starting to get up there in price also. I got one in way better condition than this. I got this one for like 15 bucks from a guy off Facebook. And here's another triple uh, AAA baseball heroes. This one's for the Mud Hens, Toledo Mud Hens. Like I said, a lot of these aren't easy to find, but I just thought it was a cool cover. So I'm picking those up for triple A baseball. Alright, this is Amazing Spider-Man number 400. This is the newsstand variant. Amazing Spider-Man 400. I don't know why it's shown as a direct edition, but this one says that it's a newsstand. I'm not sure if it is or not, but I do know that this is not the regular direct edition cover. So, Amazing Spider-Man 400, Death of Anime. Next up, I picked up these off of eBay. These were um, a only eBay edition um, Black Panther, Sound of the Fury. I think it's from my comic shop. It's a only eBay edition. I think there's only a thousand of these made. So I picked up three. Picked up a couple of the Russell Dodgerman. Um, Young Guns, um, Virgin Variant, I forget which one it is, I think it's X-Men Red or Gold, whatever it is. Yeah, I think it's X-Men Gold 21. To go along with this awesome Adi Grinov Hulk Variant, picked up two of those. Really like that cover too. Alright, these ones I got from a place called Zia Records. Um, got these for a buck each. So this is the Death of Angel. Got that X Factor number yeah, 15. Death of Angel. Got that for Buck. Got this Niobe. It needs a press down here. It has a cardstock cover, so I don't know how well it'll press. But it has two signatures. I don't know who the signatures are. But this is Niobe She is Life. Um, issue number one this is a, a store exclusive. It has a color on the front and a sketch on the back. Like I said, it needs a press. It has a, a kind of a corner crunch right there. I don't know if you guys see it, but um, it definitely needs to press. Ugh, man, excuse me. Keep on sneezing. Alright, got these for a buck. Um, this is The Last Starfighter. Another great movie from when I was a kid. Got number one. Got number two. And I finally got number three. The Last Starfighter. Got to get those graded. Those are some members of my childhood. This I picked up a, it was a buck. It's Loot Crate, ex Loot Crate exclusive um, Rocket Raccoon number one variant. Picked up that for a buck. And this is still sealed. Um, it's a Garspell Kids Go to Hollywood. It has a little bit of a spine bend right there. That'll need to be pressed out. But still sealed. It's Methane Max Garspell Kids series. It's a one shot deluxe edition. 
They had Injustice number two, number one over there. Definitely needs a press. Was going to pass it out for Buck. They had Dark Avengers number one. I forgot who has the first appearance in this. And this is a newsstand. Got that for two bucks. This I'd like to give a shout out to Comics Corner Club. Um, he shouted this book out, which is Deadpool vs. Punisher number two. I uh, forgot the artist. But pretty cool book, so I picked that up. Shout out to Comics Corner Club and part of the 9.8 Posse. Also got this for Buck 99. It's Impulse number 14. DC Universe variant. See that? DC Universe variant right there. Pick Buck 99. Got a Hillbilly number one. I have seven covers of the San Diego Comic Con one, but I don't have a cover of the regular one. I have a second print, but I don't have the first print. So I finally got one of those. Picked up this one. This is Darker Image number one. Um, these you don't find too often, but it is a newsstand, so I picked that one up. I have the gold, the black and white, the regular direct edition, and now the newsstand. Finally got a newsstand. Picked up this one. It's a Frank Cho cover. It's A versus X number one or zero, I think. Picked it up. Like Frank Cho as an artist. Got that for buck ninety nine. This one's three ninety nine, which is a Gillum March uh, Catwoman number one. Picked up that beautiful cover. Another Frank Cho cover, Liberty Meadows number one. Actually, this one's in really decent shape. So got that Liberty Meadows. Actually, I don't know what number this is. Hold up, number nineteen. Take that back. Liberty Meadows number nineteen. Pretty cool cover. This, I saw this before, I just thought it was a funny cover, so I picked it up, it's a Nightcat number one, her premier issue, premier issue, picked that up, Marvel, pretty cool Rocketeer cover, it's a buck ninety nine. this is number 1B, Dave Stevens cover, really cool cover, picked it up, buck ninety nine. this one I think is uh, Friend of the Neighborhood Spider-Man number two variant, um, I think this first appearance of Bagman. <laughs> the guy with the bag on his head, the Fantastic Four suit on. So, three ninety nine for that. I just grabbed it because I just thought it was funny. Um, this is uh, Adam Hughes' book. It's um, Ferris number one. Um, Adam Hughes picked that up. How much was that? Buck ninety nine. I always pick these up when I see them. This is um, what if Venom had possessed the Punisher? This is like my fourth or fifth copy. I'll be selling off a bunch of these soon, but. For buck ninety nine, could pass it up. All right, next up, I got Devil Dinosaur number one. First appearance of Devil Dinosaur. They had actually like five or six copies of these there, for ninety nine cents each. They were all beat up. This is probably the best one I found. So ninety nine cents, you know, I wasn't pass it up. Maybe I should have grabbed the other ones. Maybe not. Whatever, but I didn't. So I got a bunch of these Secret Wars. This is book five of five. Pretty cool Daredevil cover. Got this for two ninety nine. Picked it up. Alright guys, sorry, I've been kind of boring, really haven't been talking much, um, but I just want to hurry up and shoot through this, but, so now i got a couple slabs here for you guys. This right here is Youngblood number one, I have, this is from the new volume, I have a bunch of golds from the old volume, which are pretty hard to get, um, I've been meaning to want to get those graded, but haven't gotten them graded yet, but this, I got it for like 20 bucks. And plus shipping, I think it was like 12. So I basically got this thing for getting it graded. So I basically almost got it for free. So picked that up. Next one I got here. Um, this is a book I always wanted. It's a pressman book. It's really, really, really hard to find in high grade. Um, this one's in a 9.6 grade. I'm not sure if it can get any better. It has a little bit of blunted corners with some color rub. So I don't think it'd get better than 9.6, so I won't even bother breaking this out or pressing it. If I do, one day, I, I mean, I'll press it. It has some pressable defects over here on the spine. But other than that, I mean, I really don't think it'll get a 9.6, because it's hard to even get a 9.6 on this cover, but it's a Pressman. This is X-Men um, 303 Pressman variant. The other cover is all white, and this is the gold cover. This is like the Pressman second print or whatever it is, but this book is really hard to find 9.8 very very hard to find next up I've been trying to collect all these Valiant golds from when I was a kid so when I was a kid growing up um, when Valiant was hot back in the day 
Um, I used to always want to get the incentive covers that they had for all, for only the shops. And of course, as a teenager, I couldn't afford all that, especially because Valium was really hot back then, and the books were selling for freaking godly prices, right? So I, I got this one at a great price. I forgot how much I paid, but it wasn't too much. It was Turok number one gold. I had the regular cover. And like I said, I, I've been trying to collect all the gold covers, but some of the gold covers are pretty pricey. Even though Valley's not really relevant anymore, they're still pretty pricey. But finally got knocked off one of these off the list. Turok gold. Alright, last but not least, this right here is a ghost of a book. Um, <laughs> not an easy one to find. I have a 9.6 in it, which I'm going to press, and I know we'll press out to 9.8. Um, it is a really, really ghost of a book to find. But this is uh, Eminent Punisher, Kill You. Little one shot. This is number one, 9.8. It's signed by LaRocca and um, Van Lente. I think Van, yeah, Van Lente told the story. The story <laughs> is pretty stupid to me personally. It's pretty stupid. Um, cover art, like I said, is by LaRocca. Great, great cover. Um, like I said, I got 9.6. This one I will definitely press. Hopefully get 9.8 on it because um, there's a spine bed on the back. There's no, there's no color break or anything on there but it's very very hard to see right below the staple there's like a spine band I don't know if you guys see it or whatnot but there's a spine band right there and I'm pretty sure this will press out to 9.8 because there are no other flaws on this book so hopefully soon I'll have twins alright guys I think that's pretty much it that is it but I appreciate you guys watching I appreciate all my subscribers everybody all the new subscribers that I got um, I appreciate that my channel has grown um, organically. Um, hopefully, I should have a contest soon. I've been neglecting this contest, uh, 200 subscriber contest. I think I'm like 250 something subscribers now. But I've been wanting to get books that people are gonna like. Um, I I don't know what to give. Um, so be on the lookout for the contest. I'm not gonna say it anytime soon, but hopefully it will be sometime soon but just keep a lookout for that like i said i appreciate you guys watching everybody's watching if you guys have any questions hit me up leave me a message i love getting messages from people i'd rather have the comments than the views and uh but again like i said i appreciate all you guys if you guys need anything let me know hit me up any have any pressing questions or anything else uh, i don't mind answering questions and gino benino um, your books are in the mail already, so you should be getting them back soon. Uh, another YouTuber you guys got to check out, Gino Benino. He has a Hulk 181 that is in immaculate shape that he traded for some Valiant books back in the day because he thought that the Hulk 181 would be a great trade, and he was right. Um, dude, I swear this book is a 9.8, but take a look at his videos. Gino Benino, I'll put his link down, down in the description also. But like I said, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Talk to you guys later. Peace.